How you doing? New U22, on the brink of a new life. Welcome to 2022. Happy New Year to you. Um, this is one of our uh, 100 videos in a 100 day series from December through March. I hope you can join us through all this program and hopefully you've stopped drinking alcohol from the beginning. But if this is your first day, then congratulations. Um, it's the first day of the rest of your life. It's a great decision that you've made um, and hopefully it's going to lead to many more decisions and much more of the happy life for you in the future. What a beautiful day it is today. Uh, just to get up this water flowing in the canal. I haven't seen that in a while. Um, the sun is shining. I don't know what the temperature is now, but it's absolutely beautiful. Really enjoying it. I'm enjoying life now at the moment. Um, like I said, you know, when you don't drink, you get up every day feeling the same thing. You're feeling like you're raring to go in the day. You know, once you've got your goal set and you know where you're going um, and you're doing things that you really want to do in your life. So anyway, happy new year to you. Uh, everything's good. I think it, this is the journey where you make the decisions, you make the choices and you get the rewards. Uh, depending on the choices that you make. Um, it's all up to you. Everything is there for you to, to capture. Like we, we said in a video a couple of days ago, there's so much potential in your life that you release because you've stopped drinking alcohol. There's a potential for you to change your thoughts, change your behaviours. There's a potential for you to change your friendships and to uh, not only get rid of friends that are harming your life, that are holding you back, um, but to build friendships that are going to help you in the future and help to pull you, push you forwards. Um, and that's one of the most important things in life. Social bonds with people. It, it is amazing if, if they're the right social bonds. Um, you know, it's not something that I am... Uh, it's taken me a long time to do this. I, I come from a place... Uh, a lot of my drinking came from shyness and from um, being building up anti-social thinking in my head because I was shy and because I, I didn't uh, I didn't build I didn't create the skills that I needed to to overcome that shyness in certain parts I mean it did in other parts but anyway um, if you haven't stopped drinking already um, we have our quick start guide for preparing you to stop drinking alcohol even if you have stopped drinking alcohol and you haven't watched this guide please go over and take it it's eight videos long less than an hour um, it's well worth your time give you a lot of clarity and understanding where you were understanding where you're going um, some confidence in that you can do this and the courage to either step across that line or to do the thing that you need to do you know um, it's well worth doing like I said, the link is down below. Click on that and then uh, I'll see you on the other side. You know, think about this journey. Think about 2022 in the, from the perspective of where do you want to be as you're at this time next year, in 2023. A year can change so much in a person's life, you know. Uh, I repeat the quote all the time from, I um, can't remember who said it now, that you can... People would be surprised at how much they, they can't change in a year, um, but how much they can change in 10 years. But I think you can, coming from the perspective of changing something like alcohol and getting rid of a behavior like alcohol in your life, you'd be surprised at how much you can actually do in that first year, in one year alone. You know, it's, uh, it's amazing. So how you get there, how you're going to get to that person that you want to be in 2022, like I said, it's up to you. Uh, just remember that all change, all change, every single change that you make in your life, especially the big ones, all change starts with discomfort, with you feeling uncomfortable about the change. Um, because if there was no discomfort, people wouldn't be watching videos like this, you know. People would just change on a whim, but people don't, you know. That's one of the things about alcohol that um, keeps people drinking much, much, much longer than they should do is because it gives them an escape from thinking about the things that they need to change, thinking about themselves from that perspective that, you know, they're in a, 
they're in a position where uh, they want to be somebody different. Uh, they want to live a life that's different to the one that they're living now. But because of the things that they're doing, including alcohol, they can't do that and they can't get to that place in their lives. And alcohol um, is one of the, um, the reasons why people drink is because it helps them to stop thinking about that, um, even for a short period of time. They might go back to thinking about it tomorrow. That's why people start to drink more and more and more, more than the tolerance and more than the, the, um, the physical component of this. But the fact that you drink now you forget about things now, you get into tomorrow and you remember the things that you shouldn't have done, but you've got the added burden of that extra day of not drinking and not, of, of drinking and not doing anything about it. And that might not be much, might be a, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but add up all those tiny bits and that all compounds into something huge. So people start drinking earlier and earlier in the day because they just can't stand thinking about their lives the way that they have made them and they know that they've made them like that there's nobody else that you know even if you um spend your whole time saying to yourself well i haven't made my, my life like this um you know deep down that you have so um anyway i don't want to talk about this this is a <laughs> this is new year's day this is a fresh start but i'm saying it because i really don't want you to continue to feel like this way you know you've got the opportunity to to get to 2022 and not feel this way, right? And that's so important. So, as I said, hopefully you've you've stopped drinking alcohol at this stage. If you haven't, right, it, it's not the end of everything, right? It's just another day. Do it tomorrow and do it today, you know? Don't wait around. Like I said, the alcohol is not going to give up itself. You have to do it. You have to be the one that stops putting the stuff into your mouth that's what it boils down to you know at the end of the day it's it's not about the alcohol it's about stopping doing the one thing this one thing so that you can move forwards in your life so that you can move to be that person that you want to be and that's going to take work so think about this in terms of that one year right you know if you if you really want um a year's program starting from today we've got Habits V2, www.habitsv2.com. Go over there. We've got a program there that is, um, will take you through this day by day by day, all the way through full, one year full. Uh, and it will change the person that you are, it change the way that you think about yourself, especially about yourself in terms of, of alcohol. You know, get away from this shortcut thinking. You know, your clock is ticking. Do you know what I mean? The clock is ticking every day. Time is moving forward. It's not waiting for you to, to change. The, you say the alcohol is not gonna give up itself. You've got, to, you've got to do that yourself. So how long can you be satisfied living the life that you're living? Um, how long can you be satisfied taking the easy road out every time? Um, yeah. Look, I really want to wish you a happy Happy New Year. Uh, I don't want to get in anyone's case, but it, it is so important. I feel like for, for a lot of people, this is a turning point. And a lot of people think, well, if I don't stop on the 1st of January, then I'm not going to stop. And it's an all or nothing thinking. I don't want you to think like that, you know. I know most people, once they get past that initial thing, then they're, you know, they'll find another excuse to stop during the year. But um, you have to stop looking for these excuses to stop. I really want to 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 mark that home now just to say to you look see where you want to be in 2020 this time next year in 12 months time 365 days time i don't know if this is a leap year um see where it is that you want to be and imagine yourself there and imagine what it's going to take you to get there that's one of the best things that you can do in terms of um overall motivation um, so anyway I'll leave it there for today. Take care of yourself and I'll speak to you again very soon. I'm with Bye now.